Hi everyone, welcome back to Billions Documentary Film. Today let's talk about dating in Germany, one of my favorite topics. <sighs> The reason why I said one of my favorite topics is because when it comes to dating in Germany, you know, we can think about it and look at, at it from a various perspective. Because, um, for example, let me use a city like Berlin as an example, because which is like the capital, a lot of people there, and how is it going to be? Okay, from my personal experience, I would say dating in Berlin, Germany, it's, it's, just, it's just a mess. It's not going to work. Sorry to say, and sorry to break it to you that way because the reason why i said it's not going to work because according to some studies and also some survey back in maybe two years ago berlin has the highest rate of singles in the world and the reason for that is because you know people here are free you can do whatever what you want you can decide to be with someone for one week you can decide to be with someone for two weeks you can decide to be with someone for three weeks and also you can be with someone for one year and decide not to commit you can be with someone for six months and decide not to commit and you can be with someone for let's say eight months and you can decide not to commit so germany is not one of those countries like you'll be seeing a lot of videos online of you know how people propose to their wife or to their girlfriend or men crying because they propose to their wife no 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 mm -mm. it's not one of those countries it's not one of those countries where you you know you will go down on your news and you will buy your girl a flower even some german women or some women in germany they will buy you flower as a man because they switch it to the up it's like upside down thing you know they will give you the flower and when you go out sometimes they want to pay they want to make sure you know um they don't take too much from you and also they are not exploiting let's say your kindness i'll put it that way so when you go on a date you will split the bill 50 50 okay it's not a rude thing they are not rude this is just the nature of themselves compared to for example me coming from nigeria you know like you have to pay for almost everything all by yourself as a man and you are fucked sometimes maybe if the girl just like to eat and she ate too much you just be like you know scratching your head <laughs> everything is good but here it's just mm, a different world but at the same time i think some people also don't like that maybe they felt like you know the woman is rejecting them and for women i would say women will have like a different experience compared compared to men because me i'm only speaking from a male perspective and speaking from a male perspective when it comes to like this dating 2018 is just a mess of a year for me because just think about it like this when you go out on a date in one year for almost 20 times that's really horrible and that's what really happened let's say around 2017 2018 to me because it's just you will see there is a lot of commitment and sometimes okay, okay of course uh, i think some has something to do with racism maybe if you want to take some women serious as a foreigner some of them i think maybe you need a document some of them i think maybe you need a passport some of them i think you know you want to marry them and they start feeling scared for example or maybe they are not sure about your situation or what's really stopping with you and they are feeling like i'm not sure if i want to get involved in this or immigration thing of, of yours so <laughs> and this is how it is sometimes and this is where i think sometimes where most people and most women get it wrong when it comes to like dating foreigners because a lot of them just think i won't say all of them but majority of them just think maybe once a foreigner started dating them you know they just want you know the german pass for example or did you want to have a german baby for example it's not always like that so for me i encountered this experience like not only one time even for me before me moving to germany to come here to live here i'm already self-made when i said self-made i mean i'm already made i'm okay on my own i'm not looking for a paper or for a passport or for a woman to marry i never marry any woman or been divorced before Mm -mm. I never do it because you know for me I just felt like when the right time comes the time comes and so this is the reason why I have never did any of those things in the past and the interpretation of let's say some Germans towards foreigners like oh um so how long are you here it's just like being on interview and date after day just feel like going on interview oh how long are you here why did you move here of course maybe sometimes they want to just they are just curious to know about your background but in some in 
most time it's not even it has nothing to do with your background or the interest it's just to know they're asking you indirectly if you have a document to stay here legally and okay illegal immigrant is all over the world it's not only a german thing and it's not only let's say america or uk or other country things even other countries in Ham in africa also have illegal immigrants also from the rest part of the world so it's not that bad when it comes to like africa as well i'm just saying pointing this out like the dating part is just sometimes I, I have seen people ask me you know is it true uh, i asked is it true what and uh, uh, she said uh, is it true what people say about black men i said maybe you should be more specific with that and then she go ahead that like, is it true um what they say like uh, black men always have like a bigger um <laughs> carrot oh i said interesting so i and and this was uh, in my home and back then i was living in potsdam Plat. but this is what i did so i said oh did you hear that she said what i said oh i think the delivery guy is here do you want to check so then uh because she came to my place and that was maybe like our third date or something and then she went to check if the delivery guy like the food we order is already there and back then i was living maybe on 16th floor or something but what she said to me was super rude and very offensive so i just want her to leave so once she opened the door and like to look the guy i said maybe she should just check the next door and then she just walk out a little bit then i just lock my door from behind and i told her to go i would throw all her things from the window like her shoes and the bag she came with <laughs> and she said I'm an asshole. and for me i think what she did to me is really much more than what i did of course i'm not proud of you know my behavior but you cannot come to my house and ask me if i have a bigger penis because you think that's what people tell black people you can't say that come on so i threw i threw all of us talk right from my 16th floor apartment down to the floor our shoes a phone our bags and everything so these like some of the things i really deal with when it comes to like dating when it comes to me just being black and i think um there are also some other issues like dating here let's say when you try to want to date a sister for example i mean being a feminist is not a bad thing no shades at all to all feminists out there but i just think sometimes um some people just use it as a wrong too just to defend themselves or just to be over too protected like to protect themselves in a way of like yeah i'm a feminist a man cannot tell me this a man cannot tell me that so it's not about obey and command it's nothing like that so i just felt sometimes i have encountered let's say women telling me you know they cannot do this for man because they think they are feminist and even the person you're talking to about that the person don't really care so why do you even brought it up in the first place and i this is like some of the problem when it comes to dating so this is like the dating for example experience when i have let's say within our own community like you know the brown people community so <laughs> and sometimes even some of them would not even want to let's say date you when it comes to dating within our own community because um they might think okay you are here to look for money they are here to do i don't know it's very complex so there is one side where you can where i can say okay this happened from let's say me um dating other people who don't look like me and also this happened you know me dating people who look like me so it's a very harsh experience and reality mixed up at the end of the day but however this is just how far i can go about sharing my experience like really honest experience about living here and also dating in berlin germany so thank you guys thank you very much thanks for watching this video if you really do enjoy this video please don't forget to press the subscribe button and also don't forget to press the notification bell so you don't miss out anytime i upload a new video and a new content so ciao until next time